Some changes to the SNAP program, formerly known as the Food Stamp program, will have work requirements, and they're really raising a lot of concerns about how effective the government assistance program will be uh, if there's another economic downturn. The Trump administration, though, tightening the requirements on who receives food aid, and let's just say the outrage is building. Some headlines out there today. Americans in cold weather states will suffer. Three million people could lose food stamps. And another actually calling it immoral and cold-hearted. Here to break down a new plan is White House Budget Office Acting Director Russ Vogt. Russ, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on, Charles. Uh, you know, the, the media is saying this is one of the most cold-blooded, heartless things that any government can do, particularly to the most vulnerable in this, in this society. What do you say to that? Uh, we, th we think it's absolutely wrong. We think that the, one of the most important things that you can do is to get people back to work and that there's a dignity in work and that when you get people who off of welfare programs and you get them back to work, that their incomes can double and triple. Studies show that. And what this administration wants to do is to increase the labor, for, labor participation rate in this country. We want to enforce the law, and we want to make sure that welfare is there for those who, people who need it. And for those who are using welfare and can work at the same time, we want them to get back into the labor force, have jobs, and get out of a cycle of dependency. Many are saying, you know, the administration has enjoyed remarkable success in the amount of people that have come off food stamps organically already with the rising tide of the economy that you just alluded to. Why not just let that run its course, and eventually whoever can get off of these food stamps will get off of them? Because all we're asking to, uh, the program to do is to have people who can work, able-bodied adults without dependents, we call them ABODs, we want those individuals to be able to get back into the workforce and to have jobs and, and become a producer, producer in this country. We think that that's the kind of thing that will build this economy. It's good for them and it's good for the government. This, con this economy needs half a million manufacturing workers, 60,000 welders, and a whole lot of other jobs. Seven million open jobs. You understand that as well as anyone else. And they say they go begging, not because there aren't people who want them, but they don't have the skill sets. Should the government then play a greater role in these folks that you want to get back in the labor force having the skills to take those jobs? Well, let's be clear, Charles. When we talk about our work requirement, included in that is job training uh, programs, job searching. So the notion of getting off of the sidelines into the labor force includes the, the building of the necessary skills to be able to have these jobs. But many of these jobs, four out of five of the open jobs, don't really require any addition, any previous work experience. So these are the, exactly the type of jobs that will allow people as starter opportunities to get them moving up the economic ladder so they have more freedom and opportunity and can build this country. But you do realize some of those jobs you're talking about means that people actually will take a pay cut. I hate to say it, but, uh, you know, to get some folks into this whole labor thing, they've got to buy into the notion, I'm actually going to make less money than I would have made staying at home, but I will be in the system and I will have the opportunity. Is there a that the administration is going to put out there so that folks understand this is this is not tough you know this is tough love so that you can get in the game well we think it's a message of freedom and opportunity we think that the best welfare program is a long-term permanent job and getting people off of depending on government is good for them it's good for their community it's good for the economy Russ real quick uh, what happens when the economy turns uh, because Brookings and others have said this is the most effective tool out there for helping during downturns like recessions. And food stamp program is not going away. It will still be there for individuals in a downturn to be able to have the, the food stamps that are available under the under federal laws. What this requires is if you are able to work, get you back to work. Right. And that's why it's important. Hey, I wanna, I've got to show gears here because you were subpoenaed to testify at the impeachment inquiry. Of course, you declined. Uh, what are your thoughts on Speaker Pelosi's announcements this morning? It's unfortunate. This has been a sham process all along. The president did nothing wrong. Uh, we know the American people know that. Uh, we're going to spend every day that we have doing the work that the president promised the American people, deregulating the economy, uh, having good reforms to get people off of dependency on federal welfare programs. That's what we're going to focus on, and, and we're going to let the sham process play, it out, play out, and we know the American people will be on our side. All right, Russ. Thanks a lot. We really appreciate your time. Thank you.